What's going on everyone? I'm Daniel Rodriguez and today we're going to be talking about the porn industry. So earlier or literally a few minutes ago I uploaded my favorite porn stars and it's about I think 29, 28, 27 porn stars on there and I, I have way more than I, I think it's over 35 or 40 in general but uh, the ones that I watch currently are within those 27 you know within a week or two um and i just kind of wanted to talk about you know this ain't no video uh, breaking down oh my god you know my whole life no this is just kind of just you know i'm bored and i want to make this a video and i just kind of you know i always do I, I do movie reviews tv show reviews trailer reactions i do entertainment stuff but don't forget porn is also an entertainment it's an it's part of the entertainment world so uh i won't always be doing stuff like this but just I'm bored and I want to talk about it and see what you guys have to say. Now, don't you know, you know, you know, you, yeah, you know, you, you have no right to judge me. Yeah, you, you have no right to judge what I've done. All right, so I can't judge you. You can't judge. Always people always judge in the first place. You know what? Like I know who I am. I don't know who you are, but you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like I know my inner side. I know my. I know who I really am. So anyway, can't judge me now. Uh, so anyway. Uh, well, got my coffee. I guess I should have a sip before I start talking and blabbing. Six forty in the morning. So, um, my first interaction with you know porn and everything was probably you know I don't remember the exact I don't remember the exact day or anything, but uh, probably two thousand four two thousand four. Five-ish? Around there. Around that time. I mean, I've already been doing it for over a decade. Um, I, I've known this industry. I've seen the downfall. I've seen its ups. I remember when James Dean was still a beginner. And now he has his own... Like, I've seen these people grow from little, you know, Jinx May starting the industry. Remy, Remy LaCroix starting the industry. I remember all these. I've seen them grow so much, man. It's beautiful to see uh, a person grow, you know. It's just like... Seeing your favorite actor grow from a first movie to now an Oscar award winner, you know, an AVN award and stuff like that. So, um, just, you know, over a decade I've been, you know, through with this, you know, and um, I would love to become a actual porn director, like direct and hold the camera, or I guess cameraman, but direct, actually be a director uh, on a porn set. I'd really, 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 really love to do that. Um, now, I wouldn't, now... I'm not that kind where I would I wouldn't join the porn industry to fuck women I wouldn't I wouldn't do that uh, but I would direct it and stuff like that I, I would that's a dream job it's been a dream job ever since middle the beginning of middle school or the end of elementary uh, which I have a question I don't I, you know if only a porn star could actually answer this question and it's a silly question but you kind of have to assume that it, it's true all the porn stars you would think that. You would assume that they would know that kids would watch their stuff. Now, and it's not, it's, you know, everyone always blames it on, well, the parents, the stuff like that. No, nope, not really. It's the kids' fault for doing it. You know, anyone has access to, especially back then in 2004, 2000, you, you think we had all this little technology that we do today? Um, and I only had that big, fat ass desktop computer viruses every two seconds and everything simple detection that you know what kids have today and the technology mind you is only t 11 10 years ago but trust me 10 years technology has gotten way better i mean my first cell phone was a flip phone i mean that was back in the day having them barely new flip phones and shit so i know first hand technology back then man wasn't as simple you know it's like it wasn't you know it's cost a lot of money and now today you have like 400 different types of computers by the same Dell and shit like that, so, and, and HP and shit, you have 400 different selections of laptops and PCs, and, you know, it's changed technology, so, but it's always been easy to access, since the 90s, the 80s, it's always been easy to access it, as in magazines or you know, anything, it's always been easy, it's not, not really the parents' fault unless the parent introduces the kid to the thing but all you have to do is just go on the computer and look up naked girls and there you go simple it's you know and the monitoring thing kids know how to hide stuff they know how to hide and delete stuff and shit like kids today they're hacking geniuses and shit so they know what to do now with kids you know they can easily hide it they can easily you know not you know it won't be traceable 
Uh, unless you open the hard drive and shit, and you know, who does that? Who who goes in just to look for that? So either way, um, yeah, I mean, uh, this was probably what? Second grade, third grade? I'm already graduated, I've been graduated, but second, third grade, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, let's get away from that beginning and just, you know, um, I've seen this industry grow so much, man, and uh, I mean, so many beautiful women, but... It's not like, you know, because um, my favorite genre, as I even said in the other video, it's BDSM and anal. Those are my two favorite things. But it doesn't mean, you know, I, I hear that, you know, your favorite genre represents who you are and shit like that. Like, just because I like, you know, chips and, uh, chips. <laughs> I do like chips, though. Uh, just because I like chains and whips and shit like that doesn't mean I would actually go buy chains and whips. It's a porn is a... It's, it's a fantasy world. That's all it is. It's, it, you, you know, what you see on the screen, it's not reality. You're very lucky to find something of that as close to reality. Look at the women around you. Uh, they don't wear 10 pounds of makeup. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, actually, there are some people that wear a lot of makeup. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a fantasy. The, the way it's done on your computer, not how it's going to be in real life. So, that's uh, step number one. <sighs> hundreds of videos, hundreds... I, I, I've known a long time. I love kink.com. I mean, they're hardcore, you know, two, three hour long gangbangs. I mean, seriously. Um, what was it? Princess Donna? Princess Donna, too. I mean, I know a lot of these people. A lot of seen them. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a beautiful industry. You know, it's kind of tough. Kind of, you know, it's a lot of con controversy because porn, you know, uh, and I would love to go to the... To the um, adult com convention. I'd love to go to an adult convention or um, a local. You know, I can meet my favorite porn stars and be like, "Hey, man, thank you so much for being awesome." And you know, when you're in down mood, you get me up and all that shit. Um, and a lot of people are against. You know, it, it's frowned upon and the you know and shit like that. But uh, you know, and I'm Christian. I mean, I'm 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 a religious guy. I am. I, I I'm Christian full through and through. I love Jesus Christ and everything. But I'm sinning. I know I'm sinning. I know I know that. I you know. But I mean, I'm not perfect. We're human. We're human. I I, I don't. You know. You kind of get what I'm saying. Like we can't all be perfect. It, really, nobody is perfect. So I make mistakes. And one day when I got home from school, I just naked girls and looked it up and well that was that was the start for me uh now does this ruin my life does this but look at me i'm perfectly fine like again what i said like just because i like chains and whips and everything doesn't mean i'm gonna go buy chains and whips d d doesn't mean that oh look at that hot girl i'm gonna go take her and tie her up and rape her and shit no that's not who i am like that's mm -mm, no i respect women and you're like well, you respect women, but you look at women naked and shit like that. You're like you like looking at them. You you think you know like they're about you know anal and shit like that. You know, women watch porn too. Ask your wife. Ask your girlfriend. I'm pretty sure one time or another, one time or another, they've seen porn. And women watch lesbian shit too. And women like seeing guys and stuff. And well, well you're looking at guys too. Why are you looking at us, huh? Why? Why? Uh, what do you? You know? Do you not respect men? And stuff like that, you know, so it's kind of back and forth, you know, and the, the, people try to always see a bad way around it. Uh, and, um, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I don't have a screw loose. I may act like I have a screw loose, but no, I don't. Like, I have respect for women. I'm not, I would never put a hand, my hand on a woman for one thing, unless she gives me permission. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to, like, tap a woman on the shoulders just like that. I don't like doing you know what I mean so I'm not like you know just because you oh I like watching women you know act like dogs on the phone and stuff it doesn't mean it's a fantasy it's just a fan it's nothing more you know what I'm saying so it's kind of like people always kind of see you know wrongly and shit but it's just fan this and also what I was gonna say was um stars adult in everyone in that industry well mostly the women not mostly the guys but mostly the women I don't know what job you have, whatever, whatever you watching, whoever, what job you have, but I'm pretty sure within a day photo shoot or whatever they do that they get paid more money than you and you're kind of like, well, you're hating on them and they're doing wrong and they could get AIDS and they know the risk. They, they know what they're signing up for. But the thing is, is, you know, it's, um, 
And it's a very dirty business. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some bad people in that business. It's a very risque business. But um, the thing is, is that, what was I saying? That they make more money, most likely you hiding behind your cubicle desk and doing your work and sucking up to your bitchy boss while they get to do, they live in California, most of them live in California. They get to go to the beach every day. They get to do this, they get to do that. They get to get drunk all the time. They get to do any of that. And you are just kind of working, you know, your ass off. And But don't get me wrong, working hard, you know, you're working hard. But they work hard too. You try getting naked in front of the camera. Like, picture you got, you know, you and then you're getting fucked by like eight of the guys you know what I mean like y y it's not easy to get and then there's there's like ten people behind the camera sometimes you have a big set crew and then you have the guys that are actually a part of the production like everything cast and crew it's not that easy and it does a lot on the body for one thing so it's not the it, well, it's not the hardest job in the entire world but it's not the easiest job in the world either Criticize, criticize, criticize. That's everyone. Every time everybody does. It's just you know what? You know what I mean? So just... Um, I kind of lost balance on the video. Yeah, I mean... I don't really know what's the point of this video. I guess just saying that... Yeah, I mean, it's... Not the worst thing in the world, you know, kids watching... the. And I guess, you know... I'm not saying show your... Obviously, if you're a smart parent, you wouldn't show your kids that. Uh, but, uh, you know... Usually five, six, seven, eight-year-olds don't like girls. Usually they're like cuties. But hell, I remember seeing when I was in kindergarten when I was seeing a, a little movie and animation and like the Shrek or something, and they kissed and we were watching it in class, and or even a, a PG movie and it was like that old Disney shit films like in the '90s, and they kiss and like boy and girl kiss and everyone's like ew. You remember those days you were in your class? I was like, man, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, I've never, you know, I've always been chill. I've always been, you know, I've never had to, you know, do anything wrong. It's always been just, eh, you know. So, I mean, I love porn. Porn's awesome. And, um, I know a lot of trivia. You could, you could trivia up on me. I mean, we'll go at it head to head, and I'll probably know quite a bit of information more than you. I mean, you may know my uh, obviously people who have doing it more than a decade. Well, I mean, welcome to the club, you know. So, um, yeah, that's it, man. I love the industry. I think it's really cool. I like, you know, I'm proud that I mean, I'm still here. I'm doing fine. I have a regular mind. Play my video games. I watch my movies. I go do work outside. I do plan. You know, I, I I do my work around. You know, like I I don't just sit down and just. No, I I actually do shit. So, um, but you know, every now and then, you know what I mean. You need a little, you know. Well, plus, shit. I wouldn't even you know have an actual girlfriend. And shit, you know what I mean. Maybe one day, but I'm too busy even for having that. You know what I mean, like. People are like, why would you watch porn if you have a girlfriend? Well, still, chances are my girlfriend wouldn't want to do anal or act like a dog on the floor either. So, most likely, hard to find women into that thing. So, yeah, you know, whatever goes on, you know, you can't force someone to do it. They'd have to be willing to do it and shit like that. But, um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I guess I kind of did my video. I think, I mean, I think I'm good enough to... I think I said what I wanted to say, which was, watch porn. You and your, well, if you're married, just watch it with your wife. Simple as that. It'll be a little fun experiment, you know, I don't know, I'm pretty, I mean, that'd be cool if a couple would do that, like, just look, you know, together and like, oh, and you know, that, and it'd be romantic, have a romantic night like that have tequila on the side, have a cigarette, watch porn, man, simple as that, it's a beautiful, beautiful night, but, only in dreams, man, only in dreams, so thank you so much for watching, if you want to comment down below and tell me, you know, you see, this ain't no video where I'm like, oh my god, what have I done, you know, my whole life, like, oh, yeah, that was the thing I was gonna say, you know what sucks about the whole decade of doing that stuff and all that shit, it's kind of personal annoy, but it's like, now, you know, it's not the same as it used to be. I mean, I remember when porn was used to be. I remember the curl hair booty got a little bigger, man. I think she's eating a lot of chicken and rice. That's really cool. Uh, I've seen, I mean, some of them have, I mean, I, I'm okay with 
you know, fake tits and fake ass. I'm totally fine with that. Most people see a fake ass, fake tits, I'm like, ew, but I'm like, that that's even more hot. I forgot to mention Bridget B on the other video. Ah, oh, Bridget B is another, oh my god, how can I forget? See, this is the problem, man. I, mm, I forgot to mention Bridget B. Anyway, mine because I think she has fake tits, so it's awesome. And I think I, I, I like girls with fake ass. They're really cool. Man, that's awesome. Anyway, um, yeah, hopefully one day I'd be able to get to direct some amateur stuff and all that. And, you know, maybe somebody calls me up and they're like, hey, why well, do it? Uh, me and my girlfriend want to do an amateur video. Can you direct or something? I'll be like, sure, man. Do you have a camera? Because I ain't got no camera. But, um,. They can just film with themselves, I guess. I guess there is no need to be a director, but whatever, man. I mean, I don't I'm just kind of here on the side. That'll be a side job or something. But, um, yeah, that's, I mean, I forgot what else what I was going to say. I kind of went off my boat. But, um, yeah. Good time, good time. It's a beautiful world, and it's art, man. The woman's body is art, so it's cool. You know, they're selling themselves out. They're just, you know, getting, you know, just for money. Yeah, well, they still make more money than you, so, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, they make more money than me. I mean, they, but plus, they work harder than what I work hard in a week, so. I don't even have a job. <laughs> I don't, so. Anyway. I support whatever they want to do. Go ahead. Do what you want, man. You're beautiful. At least Anne's beautiful. I mean, they're all beautiful. Um, especially the one with, like, fake lips and everything. They're all so cute, so. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you want to comment down below and tell me your favorite star, or tell me when you started. I mean, this ain't no. I'm not asking for like advice or stuff. But if anyone can answer, I mean, I'm hoping that porn stars do know that kids watch their stuff. Now, the minority of kids, not like every single kid in the world. And don't get me wrong. It's not like you go to HB or a playground and you're like that kid watches it, that kid watches. It. But I'm assuming one kid that's smart enough to actually be like, oh yeah, I've, I'm here on the computer. I can check stuff. Or they could always check at a friend's house or something. But Nowadays, you go to school, you got kids talking about shit and everything. When I was in school, ain't nobody was talking about that shit. But then again, it was like second grade, third grade, so I guess, you know, yeah. I guess they wouldn't be talking about that stuff. But then again, that was like old, long time ago, man. So I've seen a lot of things, and I have never was disgusted by anal. I never was disgusted by, you know, um, fist and... I've ne you know, in the rows coming in, I've never been disgusted by it. I've always just welcomed it. You know, I, that you know, I'm not easily grossed out where I'm like, oh my god, it's so gross, it annoys me. I'm just like, it's hot, you know, it's awesome. I'd love to do that one day, but you know, have somebody with me do that. But eh, whatever, you know, I'm the only person out of my friends that like anal. So like, I'm like, hey, anal school, and they're like, you, you're gross. You know, and I'm like, well, they do clean themselves you know, before in the shower, I mean, you assume so, but, um, yeah, either way, hope you learned a little bit about me, I'd like to learn a little, uh, about you, so, thanks, like, share, comment, whatever you want to do, um, do you, thanks again, hopefully, all of you enjoyed, uh, <laughs> uh cherry pop, uh, anyway, thanks, love you all, I'll see you for the next one, bye-bye.